Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you my ban list. It is just my ideas. Uh, third time recording. Beep 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 beep. Anyway, I for There it is again. Sakatoras! It's avocado, you c Yeah! Okay. So we have the. F I'm not even going to edit that out. But anyway, the four dragon rulers, the big dragon rulers. They're on the ban hammer. Um, about time that they've went. Ah, I wish I didn't delete it. Oh well. But yeah, they give you. I get. I can't think of a good explanation. I already gave a good explanation, but oh yeah, this is my opinion. So you don't need to get angry or anything. It's not a prediction in any way. It's just my ideas. So four dragon rulers get banned just because you can summon them from the graveyard plus redox and blast they have really good effects anyway from the hand I mean and also you know you just get beat stick from the graveyard for free pretty much so yeah that's why I'm banning them also the only other card I banned is Evil Swarm Exit tonight um, the reason why I'm banning this card over Black Rose you know is just that two level four months is quite easy to make it um, it's a quick effect. I know Black Rose is a quick effect too. Well, sort of. You know what I mean? But the thing about this card is it does survive. Unless your opponent destroys it. But it survives. So, um, 1900 is quite hard to deal with once you've had your complete, all of your resources gone. But I do, like, I understand that it does just punish overextending as well. But if it did destroy itself maybe maybe it would be a bit fair maybe I don't know so anyway let's move on to limited judgment dragon similar reasons uh, 1000 life points isn't that much of a cost as well as light swans the deck themselves can now go into different synchros and XEs so they need judgment dragon less plus you have all the light rays so you do have all the boss monsters you need Judgment Dragons is sort of the best one. So if you put that to one, then maybe people will play it a bit differently. Constellar Pleiades is pretty busted, like in every way. The fact that it can bounce back row is pretty busted as well. And even at one, if it was about to get destroyed, you could just bounce it back to your extra deck. So you could play around just having one. So to compensate for that, I've also put Constellar Coast to one. And this card is good. You can recycle it with Sombre anyway. And you have like that sort of toolbox thing going on. So for rank fours and fives. So putting it to one will slow Constellas down a bit. You still have access to Omega, Paladynamo, all that. So the deck's still a deck, so don't worry. Uh, Coach Soldier, Wolf Bark. A lot of people say that it doesn't need to go to one, but it is a one card XCs. Although Tour Guide is, and arguably Tour Guide is a bit faster, but Wolfbark, the thing about it is it's searchable. It's for rank 4s, so things like Exeter Knight obviously are made easily. And also the fact that it's a Beast Warrior, it lets you go into Tiger King. I know it's not that good, but it is a skill drain kind of card. There are plenty of rank 4s which are like game changing and the fact that you can just summon this card, bring back a bear. Speaking of bear, I'm also putting that to one. Firefist have a lot a lot a lot a lot of a lot 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 of different cards. And by putting this to one, you know, they can play some others because play a bit smarter. Um I'm hitting to one Mermaid Abyss Lind. This card's like one of the best floaters around because it can summon uh, to level 7 beat sticks. And also, you can summon it off a spell, a trap card, and bring out a card. Doesn't even miss timing. Sil uh, number 101 Silent Honors Art to 1. It does punish overextending, but not to the extent of Exeter Knight. You can get rid of it quite easily, but if you do try to destroy it, they'll have to detach one and means you won't be able to use the snatch effect you know the snatch effect really only punishes you hard hard if you've left your uh, spammed out monster on the field unprotected 
in attack position. So another card I put to one is Divine Dragon Knight Foulground. Can negate your monster effects as well as protect itself. So I think hitting this to one is still powerful, but you only get one of them. Also hitting Evil Swarm Ophion to one. Uh, Evil Swarms have a, an amazing toolbox pot of dick 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 dick, dick back into your extra deck. So if I hit Noble Arms of Destiny and Noble Arms Excalibur, you still can do the combo, but you just can't get it as consistently. So next to one, Cyberstein. OCG got to try it, so we may as well to pot of greed. Also to one up at Sinister Serpent. This card makes cards like Regeki Break really good. Yeah, if you had like three in your graveyard, they'd all come back to your hand, so I think that's a bit OP. But it's also searchable with King of the Fell Imps. Semi limited, I have Mermail Abyss Gund. This card, you know, brings out level 7s, but is it there? Nurse Riff. Now for that. Bujin Yamato, support coming out of the ass, so cards which I've made unlimited. Now bear with me here, you may think it's a bit odd. You remember the pot of greed, you know, it's fair. So graceful charity to free. Eradicator epidemic virus. It's not game changing at all, so let's keep that at free. Also crush card virus, let's put that back up to free just to try it out. Also put in Chaos Emperor Dragon to free. Um if you think about it, Veiler is a card, so um you can just Veiler it and it's useless really. 